Living in Boston is the best. There are so many communities within Boston, which is really exciting, I think. You can walk over to the North End and have a totally different feel from, let's say, you know, Central Square and Cambridge, which is cool. And all of it is so accessible to us because of a really, I think, great public transportation system. I knew we wanted to be in a big city, and it was between New York, Chicago, and Boston, and I just fell in love with Boston. I think it's a really dynamic city, and it was easy to manage. Not really knowing anyone from any of those cities, I felt like I could feel comfortable in Boston. I wanted to be in a place that wasn't too big, like New York, where I would just feel lost in the wash or the sea of filmmakers and people in the industry, but also have all of those resources and those opportunities to meet people. The campus is, is in the city, so I'm constantly feeling like I'm independent in, in the professional world, but happening to still go to school. Um, but there's something that's kind of warm and supportive and, and comfortable about it. I love the city. It's a walker city. Um, you know, you don't have to drive. Everything is very uh, centralized. You can go for a run on the Esplanade, you can go and get Italian food in the North End, you can go to a Red Sox game. Everything that you want is right here in the city. Emerson's Theatre Education School is right here on the campus, right next to the Theatre District in Boston. And what's really exciting about it is that the proximity that we have of all of these visiting performers and artists is a constant inspiration to what we're looking to do as teachers in education. Boston is a great place to be doing health communication, um, partially because, you know, Boston lends itself to this Emerson Tufts connection. The other reason is Boston is home to Harvard and to other medical schools at uh, Boston University as well. I know a big draw for the GMC program is the fact that it's located right downtown in Boston. It's wonderful, there's theaters, there are museums, there's lots of other things that can help you stimulate your creativity and just really explore the city very easily. There's a really thriving documentary community here. A lot of the, a lot of really famous documentarians live right across the river in Cambridge, some of my personal heroes. I don't know if it's just because I'm from the West Coast, so we don't even have architecture this old anywhere, you know? But I'm walking around, like, looking up at the ceiling the whole time. Like, oh my god, this building. The things that have happened in this building. And I feel like that in Boston all the time. Like, you walk by a gravestone and, you know, you squint and you're like, that says, that's a 1652 on it. This city was around in 1652. Um, and the city I'm from really wasn't around in 1652.